Trump nailed it look what NSA leaker was caught doing right before she was arrested, on Monday, Reality Lee Winner, 25 a contractor from Augusta, Georgia was arrested and charged with leaking classified information from the National Security Agency to a news outlet. The documents that Winner stole were top secret that supposedly showed how Russia hacked the 2016 election. Of course, these documents show absolutely nothing damning for President Trump but the left will hail Winner as some sort of martyr, right? Though what is interesting is what Winner posted online right before she stole the documents. For years, we have witnessed the decline in our youth and how easily they have been brainwashed. These millennials have bought into the rhetoric that Republicans are evil and that they are destroying the country. In school, our youth have been taught that feelings are more important than facts, and everyone gets a participation trophy for just trying. Hard work and dedication have been thrown out the window in exchange for safe spaces and hugs. Ronald Reagan said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same, or one day we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was once like in the United States where men were free which is why I'm not surprised over reality winner's actions. After trolling this person's social media accounts it shows that she is a rabid leftist and has been taught no respect. She also despises white people, pledged her support to Iran, and is a hashtag resistance activist. Check out these tweets. Winner is also a huge supporter of the Black Lives Matter. Winner also chooses Mexico over her own country. She tweeted hashtag Trump is a cunt, hashtag not my wall, and hashtag not my president. According to Politico, the Trump administration on Monday brought its first case under the Espionage Act, charging an intelligence agency contractor with leaking a classified document to a news outlet. The leaked document described in the charges appears to match a top-secret National Security Agency analysis published Monday afternoon by The Intercept detailing Russian efforts to tamper with U.S. election systems. The NSA report describes how Russia's military intelligence agency, the GRU, cracked into a U.S. voting database software supplier and then used the information it pilfered to craft fake emails laden with malware that were sent to more than 100 local election officials, according to The Intercept's story. The GRU is the same agency that U.S. intelligence officials previously linked to the theft and release of massive troves of internal emails from the Democratic Party and Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign. Several news outlets, including CBS News and Reuters, said they have independently confirmed the NSA document's authenticity. The NSA report is dated May 5, 2017 nearly matching the intelligence agency report described in the Justice Department's criminal complaint against the intelligence agency contractor, 25-year-old Reality Lee Winner. The government said the pilfered report was published on or about May 5, 2017. Media outlets also reported Monday afternoon that Winner was The Intercept's source. The Intercept itself said it had no knowledge of the identity of the source. Winner a Georgia-based intelligence community contractor with a top-secret clearance, was arrested on Saturday. She admitted to leaking the document to a news outlet and appeared Monday in a federal district court. The apparent NSA document is perhaps the most granular account to date of a Russian hacking operation during the U.S. presidential election. Previously, the intelligence community had only publicly described Moscow's digital meddling campaign which included hacks at the Democratic National Committee and Hillary Clinton's campaign, as well as the embarrassing leaks of internal emails in broad strokes. But the apparent NSA report published Monday alleges that Moscow's cyber warriors wanted to pose as election software vendors to dupe local election staffers into opening infected Microsoft Word documents, thus giving the hackers full access to their computers. The report indicates but does not confirm that these digital meddlers successfully infiltrated VR Systems, a Florida-based election technology manufacturer. CNN reported last October that the government was investigating a Russian-linked hack at a Florida election systems contractor. It is amazing to me that this radical liberal was able to obtain a top-secret clearance. This proves without a doubt that President Trump was right about draining the swamp. These people have infiltrated our government and it is going to take years to clean up this mess. 
After eight years of Barack Obama, this is what we get from his relaxed policies and his blatant disrespect. Now, this 25-year-old woman has ruined her life and will get to spend at least 10 years behind bars for her stupid choices. However, maybe that is what needs to be done to wake up these millennials. Once they see that there are harsh consequences to their actions they will wake up and get their act together. Share if you think that President Trump needs to drain the swamp. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.